Girl Scouts, Betsy Nichols here, Program Specialist for the Girl Scouts of Minnesota and Wisconsin Lakes and Pines, returning to you from Duluth, Minnesota. This video is part two of four for the Junior Think Like an Engineer journey. Today I will be guiding you through the second design challenge of the Think Like an Engineer journey, but first let's get started with the Girl Scout Promise and the Girl Scout Law. On my honor, I will try to serve God and my country, to help people at all times, and to live by the Girl Scout law. I will do my best to be honest and fair, friendly and helpful, considerate and caring, courageous and strong, and responsible for what I say and do, and to respect myself and others, respect authority, use resources wisely, make the world a better place, and be a sister to every Girl Scout. Great. So today we will be designing and building an emergency shelter. Your shelter must be sturdy enough to fit at least one person or another option is you can scale it down and have it um, fit a doll. So it could be a doll sized shelter as well. But first, what is an emergency shelter and who might need one? There are many reasons why people might need temporary shelters. Each year, natural disasters like hurricanes, earthquakes, floods, fires, and tornadoes destroy homes of millions of people around the world. Engineers and inventors help rebuild the lives of people by inventing and designing uh, temporary housing that can be built quickly, easily, and cheaply so that the people can have a safe place to live. So that is what we are going to be trying to do today. Now there are a couple things that we need to build our emergency shelter. Um, we are looking for two to four cardboard sheets, 16 five foot um, bamboo plant stakes or wooden dowels, uh, three to four large garbage bags cut open into sheets, scissors, duct tape, string, and paper and pencil. Now this one is going to be a difficult one for me to recreate in my apartment, but um, I think I have a plan in place for how I can do this. I do not have um, 16 uh, 5 feet bamboo plant stakes or wooden dowels, um, so I'm going to have to find a way to go without those or find something that I can substitute in. Um, so I'll have to get creative and you might have to as well but that's okay. Uh, so I'm going to round up my supplies and see what I can come up with. Why don't you take a moment to do the same and I'll see you in a little bit. I'm back with my supplies. This is what I was able to round up. I have string, I have scissors, I have one deconstructed cardboard box, I have two and a half plastic grocery bags that I have cut into sheets um, because this is what I use in my house for uh, trash bags is used grocery bags and then to try to find anything resembling a bamboo stick or a wooden stick I found a broom a mop and two cross-country ski poles so that is what I am working with today. So I'm going to start designing and building my emergency shelter. Why don't you do the same? Here it is in all of its glory. Let's take a closer look. Um, so I, have, I made a tripod out of my ski poles and a mop. And then I used two pieces of cardboard uh, for reinforcements on two sides of my uh, tripod and then I covered as much as I could with plastic grocery bags and I made sure to seal the top so if any rain tried to get in then it would hopefully stay out and does it fit a human being? You bet it does. So let's talk about what we just did. Um, we were challenged to create a emergency shelter using very limited supplies. 
and um, I'm sure we all had different things to pull from in our homes. Um, this is the best that I could do given the circumstances. And you know what? I'm kind of proud of what I have here. Um, so thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I hope you had as much fun as I did building your emergency shelters. Uh, so why don't we close things out with make new friends and a friendship circle. So sing it with me. Make new friends, but keep the old. One is silver and the other's gold. A circle is round. It has no end. That's how long I want to be your friend. Bye, Girl Scouts.